Are you ready to jumpstart your credit? Well, if you develop these two essential habits, you could be well on your way. Your credit score is the starting point for your journey toward building credit or restoring it after a setback. The next step is understanding how the way you handle your finances affects your credit score. Two things matter much more than any other, paying on time and how much of your credit limits you use. Paying on time matters most because paying on time is the single biggest factor in your credit score and for credit scoring purposes on time is within 30 days of the due date. It's virtually impossible to add points to your score if paying late is a habit. Worse, accounts at least 30 days past due can stay on your credit record for as long as seven years. So how can you stay on top of your payments? Well, how about setting up automatic payments to cover at least the minimums due, assuming you reliably have enough in your bank account to avoid overdrafts. You can set up alerts to let you know a payment is coming up. If you have an account that's overdue, it's important to try to catch up because damage to your credit score gets worse as a payment goes from 30 to 60 to 90 or more days late. As a previous late payment fades into the past, the damage to your credit lessens. Credit card balances have a big effect. The balances on your credit cards affect your score almost as much as on-time payments. In general, the less of a credit card limit you use, the better for your score. In credit card speak, this is credit utilization and it's expressed as a percentage. Most experts advise using no more than 30% of your credit limit and less is better. Keeping your balances under that 30% suggests that your debt is not so high that it would be difficult to pay down. The good news, once you're able to whittle down your credit card balance, it will stop damaging your score. So how do you keep balances low? Credit card issuers report your balance about once a month. The amount reported most often matches the amount on your monthly statement. You can pay your balance before the statement is issued or pay online as often as you'd like. Regularly check your balance or you may be able to set account alerts to be notified when your balance reaches a limit that you choose. What else to know? Well, if you usually pay on time and you use just a small part of your credit limits, you can expect to have a decent score. It really is that simple. Scores also consider other factors too, but taken together Together, they make up roughly one-third of your score, and they include credit diversity. Scores reward having a mix of credit cards and loans with a set term and equal payments, though it's possible to have a good score with just one type. How often you apply for credit. Several credit card applications close together can inflict temporary damage. And the length of credit history. Longer is better. Consider keeping credit cards open and using them lightly unless you have a compelling reason to close them. If you have questions about your credit score or need help setting up a plan to pay Pay down debt? Sunmark is here to help you with your financial wellness. This includes a free credit review from Sunmark, which includes a free review of your credit report as well as your score, but also the opportunity to discuss the details of your report with one of our knowledgeable staff. You can determine which loans or credit cards that could be consolidated into a lower rate loan, identify ways to pay down your debt, and we'll guide you on the right track to raise that credit score. This is a community service and you do not need to be a Sunmark member to take advantage of this free service. If you'd like to get more information, stop by any Sunmark location or call us at 866-SUNMARK.